Welcome to ClickMyProjects.com. Here we will discuss about Wavelet Based Oblivious MS Watermarking Schemes using Genetic Algorithm. Watermarking is an invisible signature embedded inside an image to show authenticity or proof of ownership. A digital watermark is a kind of watermarker conveniently embedded in a noise tolerant signal such as audio or image data. It is typically used to identify ownership of the copyright of such signal. Watermarking is the process of hiding digital information in a carry signal. The hidden information should but does not need to contain a relation to the carrier signal. Digital watermarkers may be used to authenticity or integrity of the carrier signal or to show the identity of its owners. It is prominently used for tracing copyright infringements and or banknote authentication. One application of digital watermarking is source tracing. A watermark is embedded into a digital signal to each point of distribution. If a copy of work is found later, then the watermark may be retrieved from the copy and the source of the distribution is known. This technique reportedly has been used to detect the source of illegally copied movies. The process of digital watermarking involves the modification of the original multimedia data to embed your watermark containing key information such as authentication or copyright codes. The embedding method must leave the original data perceptually unchanged yet should impose modifications which can be directed by using an appropriate extraction algorithm. The major technical collection challenge is to design a highly robust digital watermarking technique which protects copyright of the media owner by making the process of watermark removal tedious and costly. This paper presents a robust and obvious oblivious watermarking scheme in the transform domain. In general, any two-dimensional multi-resolution transform can be used. The performance of the proposal scheme might change slightly from transform to transform in terms of PSNO and CC and those changes can be analyzed experimentally. In this work, DWT is used. Here, third level DWT is applied to the original cover image. Third and second level horizontal details, sub-band coefficients are grouped into different blocks. Here, genetic algorithm is used to choose the constant values. After embedding all the watermark bits, Inverse DWT is applied to the subbands including modified subbands to obtain the watermarked image. For watermark extraction, a threshold based statistical decoder is designed in that a distance vector is calculated from the possible attacked watermarked image and by comparing each element of the distance vector with the threshold decision is taken in favor of one of the binary symbol. Thus we watermark the images. This is the flow diagram of a project. Here we give the host image as a end image which we want to watermark the data. Here we provide the iteration. For each and every iteration it gets the genetic algorithm output and by using this value, it finally optimizes the watermark image. Here, in the first iteration, it gets the input from genetic algorithm. Then for the genetic algorithm, it embeds this with images. For each and every iteration, then we calculate the PSNR value from original host image and the embedded images with GA algorithm. Then we provide various attacks for the output of embedded result. Then from that attack, we extract the watermark extraction. With the watermark image, we provide NCC calculation from the watermark extracted values. During this, the watermark images which we want to embed 
this with whose teammates was given to embedded states and the NCC calculation states. By using these values, it checks the fitness values of NCC and PSNR, then it gives to the GA algorithm. This select the fitness values and finally the iteration was going on. At the last stage, we get the watermarked images. At the reconstruction stage, this will provide DWT step to reconstruct the watermarked image. Thus, we protect the image from any other attacks by using watermarking with a method of DWT algorithm and genetic al Now I am going to explain the running process of our project. Now just run watermain.m file. Here I prepare a guide creation for our project. In the first step, we initialize the given image which was going to made as a cover image by clicking input button. It gets the input from user. Now you can select any image which was used as a cover image. The image displays in the axis is act as a cover image. Now then we want to give a message image. Here I give a image which was going to made watermarking. Here this is act as a message which was watermarked to this cover image. Then now perform DWT for the cover image. Here this image denotes the third level and second level DWT. Here this table values denotes the coefficients values of second level and third level DWT of the given cover image. Then we perform D mean value and by using these mean values we watermark the given image with the message image. Here the watermarking was performed by applying DWT for the cover image and embed the message vectors input the coefficients of DWT values and finally we perform inverse DWT to reconstruct the watermarked image. This was done by clicking watermark button. Now the watermark was finished. Here the image in this axis displays the watermarked output. The message image in this was embedded into the cover images and displays like this. Then this watermarked image is given as an input for reconstruction stage. In the reconstruction stage, here I create a, another guide for reconstruction of watermarked region image. Here we have to perform DWT to the watermarked given image. Then we finally reconstruct the image by clicking reconstruct button. The PSNR value NCC and fitness value denotes the average values of each and every PSNR iterator by using genetic algorithm. Finally, the reconstructed images displays the message images which was made in watermarking stage. Thus, we watermark the given image to the host image and finally we reconstruct and re-get the final result by using DWT and genetic algorithm. Thank you.